What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'll be taking a look at uh, Shaq Calhoun, our uh, our guard. Uh, continuing to look at some of our offensive linemen. I'll get to um, Stanley and Sutherland probably at some point. But I, I've already made a video talking about Stanley. I didn't do a film breakdown, but I've already talked about him. I mean, I've talked about uh, Shaq Calhoun, too. But um, there just really isn't much film. Like... Keaton Sutherland's been, he has two years NFL experience, but there's really nothing on Game Pass. Uh, so probably the only film I'm going to be able to get of him, of both of them, would be their college film. So I'll probably do that a little bit later because i got to try to find it. But um, these guys here, you know, they all started games for us so I can find their film fairly easily. Uh I've also got it pulled up here, exactly what games he started and everything. Now, of course, we're not going to go look at every snap of every one of these games because we'll be here all night. Um, we pretty much already have our opinions on him, at least I do. Uh, he's a guy that his movement is pretty okay, but his hands and power could use some work. So we're just going to go ahead and, and uh, get into the film. And, um, yeah, we're just going to kind of see where we're at with him. So right off the bat, you see a little bit of burst from him. He's going to kind of help his center out a little bit. He's got one of his hands inside. He's got the other on the outside. That's kind of a problem for him. Uh, his base looks pretty good. Um, yeah, he did pretty good there. I'd like to see him finish a little better, but let's go ahead and get to the next play. Okay, so he's kind of helping the center out again right now, but he's keeping his eyes on the linebacker. I like that. And um, another thing to point out. Is his hips. As you see, not only is he looking at him this way, if he has to disengage and switch to the linebacker quickly. Uh... He can. He, he already has his head faced that way, but his hips are also faced that way. He's not over committing into 93 here and getting himself in a compromising position. He played that fairly well. So. So, again, I'm not a big fan of his hands. Um, I don't like how low he keeps them. I'd much rather him keep his hands tight so he can punch out. Let me see if any of the others do what I'm talking about. Not really. <laughs> Our offensive line wasn't the greatest. But uh, he did he did eventually get his hands inside there. Uh, so that that's good at least. At least one of them. The other one was kind of on the outside of his arm. Not a big fan of that. Man, it's not even slowed down. What the hell's going on? Hold on. Uh, I gotta deal with my cat real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Where were we? Yeah. 
I also refreshed it. So, oh. Uh, what happened, man? So, right there, if his hands were tucked, he would have been able to fire. He's trying to get his hands inside, but... Nah, he's got it outside. His base is a little bit wider than I'd like. Uh, he disengaged to go to the linebacker, but... That was just bad. Oh, man. Because there was no one to switch to. He would, he would have been better off just letting that linebacker go. It's got his hands low again. Really can't stand that. I was crediting his feet there a second ago, but he looked pretty off balance there. Got his hands to the outside again. Luckily, uh, the, the pass rusher kind of got lost in the funk a little bit. That looks a little better. Ah, but you're he's just kinda getting his hands around his arms though. Like I, I've never liked his hands. I've never liked his hands. Like he had the inside. Just put him on his chest. There you go. There you go, man. He kinda needed the center's help there. Oh, I don't like it when they try. <laughs> get your hands inside. Get them on their chest. That's where your control is, man. I keep preaching it. Oh, okay, we're looking at a punt. Fuck that. Okay. All right, what's going on? All right, let's slow this down. trip I gotta see that zoomed out version did he trip it's right here he wasn't chop blocking anybody but he must have tripped okay Okay. Let me take that back a little bit. Base is a little, just a little bit too wide. Not too bad though. Again, getting your hands in. I mean, outside, man. You're lucky the center was in the way. <laughs> Oh, man. He lost that engagement. The center was just in the way. By the way, our offensive line last year was very frustrating. I, I don't like really any of them from last year, but. Good job climbing. I mean, if if anything was okay from him, even in college, was his ability to get to the second level. That's one thing that isn't terrible with him. He does move okay. There 
go get in his arms again. And because of this, he's able to disengage. And it doesn't matter ultimately because of play design. But. Uh, Shaq Calhoun is frustrating. Uh, makes my balls itch. Okay, got your hands inside there. See, that looks okay. If you notice, he's not moving much. I mean, he eventually gets beat, but that's just because he's not that powerful. But technique looked relatively okay there. And he had better results because of it. I'm going to do a couple more plays. Um from this game and then we'll switch to another one. Whoa. He was getting his ass whooped immediately. What happened? Yep, he let the defender get his hands inside on him. Again, he's going for the arms. And <laughs> he was he was getting his lunch money taken from him. Yeah. hate his hands. Dude, I, I don't like the coaching of most offensive line coaches in college. Because there's too many of them for this to be an accident. There's a reason there's only so many good offensive linemen in the NFL. The shitty coaching before they get to the league. Because by, by the time you get to the NFL, you should already know how to play football. You should just be learning some of the nuances at this point. But you should already have the basics of getting your hands inside. Hands low, not punching. Got one hand inside. Others just on the elbow. Let's go away from the Patriots. Um, what other games did you do? Cincinnati, Giants. Uh, let's do Philly. Miami Dolphins, go. A little more, here we go. Plays... Shouldn't be any audio playing, but just in case. Cool, we were wearing our throwbacks this game. That's cool. Okay. Did not remember that. Uh, okay. Just because the angle he got him at, I'm not too mad. Whatever. Okay. All right, so I'll, I have some issues there especially if you're going up against someone like Fletcher Cox he's going to cross your face right here there should have been a punch perfect this is what I was talking about at least closer I, I would like to see uh, Webb's uh, elbows tucked in a little bit more but you see how his hands are nice and like right by his midsection, that's going to allow him to punch. Now let me see if he does it. And he put his hands back low again. <laughs> but he had it for a minute. Because <laughs> I was looking for that in the Patriots game. 
someone to do it so I could point it out. But he didn't stick with it. But if he if he had his hands tucked, then right when right about here, he'd be able to punch out and deliver the blow to Fletcher Cox. And then him and um, Daniel Kilgore, the center, could work together on this. Uh, he starts off helping him out, and then he's looking around to make sure there's no blitz coming. Uh, I would have liked to see him keep his hand on Fletcher Cox because Daniel Kilgore was getting his ass whooped. But uh, he kind of came off of him. Not a big fan there. I mean, it would have been one thing if there was a linebacker crashing down. Then, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But that wasn't the case. Got his hands outside again. Gonna get help from uh, Jesse Davis there. Ugh. That was just at the offensive line as a whole. <laughs> but this is why I chose Philly and New England because their defenses are were pretty solid last year. I mean, some of the better ones we played against, so... Um, sure. Just real quick, want to see how long. Okay, about 60 minutes? Good to know. We'll keep going, though, of course. 62 here. Got his hands... In, eh, he had his hands inside there. Looked okay there. Uh, base could be a little bit better, but it's not too bad. Uh, if he would do this a little bit more consistently, that I wouldn't be fussing with him too much. Uh, what happened there, man? Um... He just kind of overpowered him there, and then he's just going to kind of swipe that outside hand down. And Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's not the most uh, powerful guy in the world either. That's always been his problems for me, is he doesn't handle power very well, and his hands are pretty terrible. He's shown flashes of them being okay, but that's about it. He was undrafted for a reason. But he does move well. This is the type of stuff I don't hate him for. If you kind of see his feet there, they look okay. Especially in the context of being an undrafted free agent a couple years ago. But... The problems I had with him then are I, I still have them now. Um, all right, he's got his. I think he's got his hands inside there. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Nah, never mind. I think he's got his arm kind of on the outside of his arm. Yeah, and he's going to be able to use that to his advantage. And he was able to get his body in the way. But. Yeah. All right, there you go. Got, got your hands inside there. I like it. You kind of swiped him, but can you re-engage? All right, you're going to get help from Daniel Kilgore. Good, because Fletcher Cox is going to demolish either of them <laughs> individually. Um, 
tell you what, we'll, we'll look at this one more drive and then we'll wrap it up. Because this is a dude I kind of already have an idea of who he is. I just wanted to um, look at some film and really confirm my thoughts. So. Uh, let's take that back. Hands low again. He's got one of his hands outside. Got one of them inside. Yeah, because of that, he's going to be able to defeat those hands. Doesn't get the sack, but it's not good. That's why he's not a tackle. Oh, man. Right, he's going to kind of work with Jesse Davis there. Okay. But this is kind of why we didn't have much of a running game last year. Because I don't like any of these five. Okay. Okay. I'm actually going to um, pull that off slow motion. Because you can kind of see a little bit of the athleticism. He, he ran like a 5.7 in the 40 at the Combine, I believe. Or Pro Day, I don't remember. That was, what, 2019 was his draft class? I don't remember his exact number. But uh, his movement was my favorite part of him. And you can kind of see why. All right. Yeah, that's just a mess. Um, so, I like, this is kind of what I was talking about before. So, I like that he passed Fletcher Cox over to Daniel Kilgore, but he should have done that faster and then switched over to get to the linebacker because there's no way that Kalen Balaj was going to stop that. And then maybe Kalen Balaj could have stopped 94 or at least chop blocked him or done something. But, yeah. That was kind of a total breakdown. Um. going to swipe those hands. I did okay recovering there. Okay. But again, I've said it before too. It, if you have to recover, that means you lost the battle initially. So, yeah. Let's see. Kind of a similar situation, man. He's not really being aware. He's letting his linebacker go. Oh, man. I know you want to help him with Fletcher Cox, but you got to look at what's in front of you. I mean, at this point, you kind of got to let your center just kind of deal with this. Because now you're leaving Patrick Laird on with a linebacker. Okay, a little field goal. Okay. So, as you can kind of see, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Shaq Calhoun here. He, um, I like his feet. It, like, m my opinions of him really haven't changed a whole lot since I scouted him when he f when we first got him. Uh, his feet are pretty decent. He's pretty athletic for his size. Uh, over here, does it say his size? 6'3", 310 pounds, according to the Dolphins website. And, yeah, we had him two years, so that would have been the 2019 draft class. Um, But, yeah, I just 
I'm just not a fan of his hands. He's not that powerful. Uh, he's he's always really had a hard time dealing with that. And if his hands were better, it might not be so bad. Because um, if his hands were better, he could get his hands inside and you know just give up ground slowly. But because his hands are bad, not only can they overpower him, but they get control over him, and it's it's just a mess. Um, so yeah. That's my basic thoughts on Shaq Calhoun with a little bit of film to show my work. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, even the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.